Okay, so today I was going to talk a little bit about tuning Tesla coils, and uh, I was going to do some experiments maybe with trying to generate some frequencies, uh, high power RF, high power uh, high voltage uh, type uh, oscillating signals, but be able to slightly tune these signals to a frequency that you want to do some various experiments. So here we have an oscilloscope, this is my uh, Regal oscilloscope, and Here's a little Chinese Tesla coil thing. See, this is how big it is. It's kind of kind of small, but uh, it, I think this operates about three, three point some, three point five megahertz or something like that. But let's say you want to tune the frequency. So we have the FFT here. See, this is the FFT of the signal down here, and here's our signal. And Tesla coils are a very uh, narrow resonance uh, uh, oscillator, and uh, this, this circuit is designed to uh, oscillate at the uh, frequency, the resonant frequency of the coil. So how can we tune this? And uh, actually, if you take something like I have a piece of copper here, and you take this copper and you just bring it, I, I bring it down the center, but you can bring it any place. You see as I start to bring it close, the waveform at the top starts to shift, and the peaks, this is the Fourier transform down here. The peaks start to shift to a lower frequency. So what you're doing is you're adding more capacitance to the coil. See that? And as you do that, the frequency shifts. So you can, in principle, tune a Tesla coil very easily just by having some kind of plunger or something you could uh, bring in here. And so I might use this kind of principle. It, but what happens also um, is, uh, I don't know if you can see the spark the uh, corona right here off the tip of the Tesla coil. There's a little wire coming off of this guy. See? When you uh, detune it too much, the uh, corona goes out because you've changed the Q of the coil s so much that it's not as high power anymore. So you can only tune it so much, but I mean, that's, that's a considerable range. So, anyway, this might be useful for uh, some experiments in the future where you need to tune the frequency to a precise uh, value and uh, if you're using something you want to get high voltage from a Tesla coil, high frequency do some Hutchison experiments or some other things then uh, this might be the, uh, the way to tune your Tesla coils okay. anyway, just thought I would share that with you here we'll get a close up on the Fourier transform See how it shifts as I put the plunger in. Okay. There. Anyway, pretty good. Pretty good amount of frequency shift. Okay, so here's one other way I was uh, working on tuning Tesla coils. So I made a loop, and um, the idea of the see it's a, the loop. It's uh, I soldered it together. And I put it on a little stick so I don't burn myself with RF. Well, I'm trying to uh, put it around the Tesla coil. So the idea is I put the loop around the Tesla coil and it will kind of effectively short out the windings inductively. Okay, see so we got our Tesla coil going there. And uh, see here's our FFT. Watch the FFT as I put the loop around it. Okay, as I bring the loop down, see you can see the FFT frequency move as I change the position where I effectively or inductively short out the Tesla coil. See that? Okay, I guess my GoPro camera doesn't like the RF field because it shut off when I was videotaping. I don't know if I lost that footage or not. So, here I made a, a loop here. And, uh, it's a, the idea is it will effectively short out the Tesla coil. See, it's soldered there. I have it on the end of a stick. So I'll put this around the Tesla coil, and as I bring it up and down, you can see the FFT moving back there. The camera was giving me an RF burn. Okay, see that? See how the uh, peak on the FFT right here is moving back and forth as I slide, slide this uh, inductive short up around the coil. Maybe I could increase the scale a little bit so you can see that easier. Okay, so there's the peak. And 
Here we go. See it move back and forth. Get the camera back up again. Okay. So it's definitely seems to be very sensitive around here where I bring it in. Now as I bring it back down, the peak keeps on shifting back and forth. So this is yet another possible way for tuning Tesla coils. So very interesting, using a inductive loop short around the outside. And of course the other way was I was putting a capacitive uh, plug down the center also. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Very interesting, huh? Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.